keep you cool there. You're in those uh, big, beautiful valleys of the centre of the smack bang in the middle of the North Island. It's certainly a heatway paradise as we look ready to rock. And there's Nick again, Nick Camberhorn. A great start from Nick. Now, I thought he was going to put a wheel in front of uh, Lee Timmon, but Lee Timmon still holds the line down into turn one. And Lee Timmon will hold the lead as we head through the corner. This is MV Motorcycles in the media race. And a great start there from Lee Timmon. But Nick Camberhorn to run right there with him on the Husqvarna. As the uh, Swedish like to pronounce it, put that real hush, hush into Husqvarna. As the Husky is up there and looking back then to uh, Mike Kyle. And I don't think Mike got as good a start that time, Dennis. No, I watched him there and he got a real bad one. Uh, he must have been about 10th into the first corner. So he's about, is that him up to 5th yeah, now, I yeah, think? looks like 5th, 4th. Oh, make it 4th, make it 4th. Oh, he's on his way, he's on his way. Well, he might have got a poor start, but he's certainly starting to make up for it. And we talk about Supermoto. So when we're looking at the style of bike, for those that are unaware, it's the, uh, it's the upright bike, it's a modified motocross bike. It's completely different in the way that uh, you, you ride it, plus the way it looks, and more importantly, the way that it can't force the wind around you. Take a little Honda RS 125 Grand Prix bike course, take the fairing away, and you've got an absolute nothing of a bike because wind and aerodynamics are everything. He hasn't got anything of that kind of uh, luxury. After all, that's what uh, why Bert Munro turned an uh, Indian 500 into the uh, stream uh, streamliner because, of course, he had to uh, make sure that he could uh, force the wind around him and uh, get to go faster. So uh, there we are. All right, uh, straight up to it and uh, right into the action there at the moment. Lee Timman, Nick Campbell Hort, Alex Butson, along with Mike Cole. So it's Alex Butson this time, the pro twin uh, campaigner out there on the Scotty Mess uh, property consultant support. Uh, bike, so well done to Alex. I tell you what, he's going to be a hard man to put there on that SD. But uh, if anybody can do it, Mike Cole can do it. That's a 650 versus a 450. 650 and a twin over the 450. You would think, actually, on a, on a bigger racetrack, there'd be no chance of a motard keeping up with the time of a pro twin. But that is certainly not the case here today. There's, oh, Mike Cole down, Mike Cole. And uh, a little bit of dust to go with it. And uh, but more importantly, we'll be looking out for him and to see that he's OK. Yes, there he is. He's up and he's moving out of the way of his motorcycle. But Bad luck for Mike Justin. We we're giving him some credit just that he was trying to fight his way into that third place overall. And just when he was there on the tail with Alex Butson, he looks to have had the classic. In fact, if we get that one, maybe we might see a C test. Or I'm unsure. I can't see the screen from here. But if we do, it looked from this advantage that he just lost the back end and it drifted out on him completely. But uh, there you go. And uh, quickly. The Orange Army is there. The flag marshal's do an outstanding job and recover the bike and get it back off the racing line. Oh, no, we've gone to a red anyway. Sorry. We have gone to a red. So but there you have it. Maybe not out of the way quite enough for the uh, delight of the officials. So we've got a red flag. So but we are stopping that race. We presume it was for that reason. And I just almost thought that quickly they've gotten that one under control.